America, I'm Tom Hand, the creator of Americana Corner, and welcome to Preserving America. Today, we are talking with one of our Preserving America grant recipients, the United States Military Academy at West Point. And joining us is Colonel Sean Scully, the director of the Digital History Center. Colonel Scully, welcome to Americana Corner. Well, thank you, Tom, and I appreciate uh, the invitation to have a conversation with you this morning. Great to see you again. Can you walk us through the mission of the Military Academy and the Digital History Center? Well, the mission of the, uh, the Academy is to educate, train, and inspire uh, the Corps of Cadets to become commissioned leaders of character for service to the nation. Um, and the Department of History aids in that mission uh, by educating and inspiring cadets uh, through the study of history to become commissioned leaders of character. And the Digital History Center aids in the department's mission uh, by um, fostering, inspiring, and supporting cadet education uh, towards that goal with digital methodologies and technologies in order to enhance historical analysis and presentation of that analysis. Now, Sean, I have to correct you. You did leave out one very important mission of the Military Academy. Each year, we must beat Navy. Do you agree <laughs> that with that? Correct. That is correct. Well, I gave you the abbreviated mission statement. I was afraid if I went into too much detail, it would just get too confusing. <laughs> there you go. Um, for those that are unfamiliar with the Military Academy, um, can you walk us through kind of what the, the cadets experienced their four years at the, uh, at the Academy? Sure. Um, so a, a cadet is going to go through what we call the 47-month experience. Uh, and that experience starts on our day in early uh, July of their uh, plebe year, their freshman year. And they go through uh, a summer training course, uh, cadet basic training. And then for that first year, those plebes, after successfully making it through cadet basic training, go through a core course intensive year. So they will take two semesters of history, they will take two semesters of math, they will take or two semesters of chemistry. By the end of their freshman year, their plebe year, they'll pick a major. They then go into their second summer of summer training where they'll learn about the different branches that are in the Army and they'll finish up much of their basic military training, much like a, an enlisted soldier would do going through first basic training and then advanced individual training. Um, and then they'll go into their second year. Now they have a major. They'll still have uh, many core course requirements. Then in the summer, they're bet between their sophomore and junior year, they will do basically, I like to think of it as kind of the cadet version of ranger school, sort of. It's a cadet leader development course that they take, uh, but then they will also do a leadership detail. So they will become the leaders of the cadet basic training course, or they will become leaders in, in other training events throughout the summer. And they'll go through then two more years. What's important in their junior years, right before they start that year, they will affirm uh, their commitment to the Army. And so at that point, they will take an oath and they will be committed. Uh, so that's a, it's a big day there. And then obviously we go through the rest of the, the time towards graduation in their major uh, and, and then graduation in May uh, at that 47 month period. And then they'll enter one of the, I think 13 or 14 branches in the army and move out from there. That's a fabulous uh, synopsis. Yeah, thanks for that. Talk to us a little bit about funding. West Point's a federally funded institution, and yet you need funding from private organizations like Americana Corner. Uh, why is that? Right, so um, obviously the, the core mission of the academy to graduate anywhere between uh, 1,000 and 1,200 uh, new second lieutenants every year um, through this 47 month experience, that is paid for by taxpayers through appropriated funding. But then there are the ancillary activities that are important, uh, pivotal in the development of a uh, student at the undergraduate level. But that is not going to be paid for by the taxpayers. Um, that is going to have to come from somewhere else. And the Digital History Center is one of those margin of excellence activities. Very good. And, and that dovetails nicely into my next uh, 
question. Can you walk us through the, uh, the project that Americana Corner uh, funded? For West Point. Absolutely, I'm happy to do that. So one of the requirements for a cadet to graduate is that they have to participate in some uh, extra activities in the summer that are either related to academics, to the military, or to the physical program. And so obviously for the Department of History, we do the academic uh, version of those individual activities that they will do. And one of the plans that we had when I came on as the director was to take some cadets uh, and focus study for two weeks in the summer on the Battle of Long Island during the American Revolution. We wanted the cadets to do all of the study and the analysis to learn something new that hadn't been developed before by historians about that battle, but then to present it in a way that was digital. The original idea was to use the maps from the 18th century and overlay them on the LIDAR-derived 3D maps that we have today, understanding that the terrain of Brooklyn looks nothing like it did in the 18th century. And in that way, bring to life something that you will never actually be able to see on the ground, ever. So that was the original idea. So with the grant money that we were awarded, we were able to do two very interesting and fun things with this project. The first was we were able to take all of the research that the cadets had done and recreate them digitally in an interactive 3D model that has never been done before. So this, this will be the most accurate depiction of those defenses ever created, and it's very detailed. You can even zoom down and look at a map that is being looked at, that has been placed in there, that was actually a digital rendering of one of the maps that existed during that period of time. You can look at the soldiers and see where they're standing, what guard positions they have, and the various types of fortifications that were built. The second thing that we were able to do, which is really exciting and, and kind of came together at the end, was to get a developer to make an animation of the British amphibious assault from Staten Island to Long Island, that also has never been done before. Or up to 800 ships were involved in that amphibious landing. The cadets and the faculty did a bunch of research to make sure that they got the landing craft correct. They tried to figure out how it was that the British could make that amphibious assault without being noticed until the last minute by the American uh, sentries that were placed down on the beach, and they figured it out. And all of that is then put in this animation. It's about four minutes long. It's a lot of fun to watch, uh, and so uh, it really, in terms of both presentation and analysis, has just been a game changer for us. Yeah, we were just stunned at what these cadets, on your staff as well, have created thus far, and we're not even done yet, and uh, I just, I can't wait to see the next uh, phases that you're gonna allow us to participate with, I, I hope. No, I, I hope you're, I mean, the fact that, that y'all um, believe enough in us to want to invest in something like this is just fantastic. And I got to tell you, nobody else is doing this stuff like this. So anybody out there that's seeing this, check us out at uh, westpoint.edu, the Digital History Center. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks, Sean. We're so happy to help. It's money well invested, money well spent. And, uh, and thank you for your time. And thank you out there for listening. And until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.